Hey guys, Ed here with another part of the Johnny 5 build. Last time we started with these boomerang or banana plates, card here if you haven't seen that video yet. Today we'll be making the upper idler wheels. These being wheels with hubs and flanges and axles and all that good stuff are going to be mostly lathe work, but there is a bit of millwork in there too. And we have some of that interesting creative fixturing we mentioned last time. Now that we have both of these track drives somewhat complete, you can start to get an idea of just how big this robot's gonna be. Freaking huge. And we managed to track down some of the Delrin conveyor belt that they used in the movie on the original robots. So we'll also be spending a bit of time at the laser to modify that to Johnny Five spec. Let's get started. First up, machining this manual indexing fixture that we'll use a little later. For those of you familiar with the Rose indexing system, this is a similar idea, but with my own little janky twist on it. No fourth, no problem. Recently, we've been testing flood coolant on this 1100MX, and it's proven to be extremely helpful to avoid chip weld and the flutes loading up when doing things like slotting. Still love the fog busters for general use though. For the wheel discs, we're using the same basic process we did for the boomerang plates in the last video, roughed out on plasma and finished on the VF2SS. The one thing I did differently when cleaning up the perimeter this time was use these acrylic clamping calls cut out on our boss laser. Card here for our video on that. The thinner ring of acrylic ensures that clamping pressure will be applied where we want it, near the outside edge of the part. The stack of washers you see in the middle is there so I can repeatedly snug down the bolt without risk of cracking the acrylic.
birds still need homes, and we're happy to make these indestructible metal nests for them to live in. <laughs> no, but seriously, we're still looking at other ways to improve this, but feeding harder on the slant has helped a lot to eliminate that problem for us. The next thing we'll be trying is inserts with a smaller nose radius, so it takes less of a cut to activate the chip breaker. Now onto that indexing fixture we started the video off with. You might notice on the tube portion of this idler I made the ID chamfers extra large. This was to help this fixture self align on the part as it was tightened. Everything still would have worked out fine without this, it just would have taken a little more effort to get things set up. Other than that, just using a piece of all thread to hold it all together, and being careful to keep those reference faces coplanar. It might be a little hard to see here, but for repeatability along the X axis I also have a stop clamped to the fixture plate. And another quick tip, if you're going to use your mod vices like this with no parallels and the part resting directly on the fixture plate, you'll need to use some shim, 60 thou or so, between the part and the tiny vices or pit bulls. The eagle-eyed among you will notice that what I'm assembling here is not a 10 inch top idler wheel but a 7 inch rear idler wheel. Didn't get any footage of this portion of the top wheels, but these wheels are nearly identical and all of the same processes apply. Why yes, you can use your clapped out old bridge port as an arbor press when doing light press fits. There are 45 of these track links per side, so a total of 90, and we were thrilled with how easy they were to do on the laser versus trying to machine all of those. We'll be making the track pads shortly. Others in the Johnny5 builder community have figured out that these need to alternate with every other pad being rubber and a hard plastic like ABS to get the right mix of grip and slip. And while we're at it, huge shout out to Terry and all the guys on the Input Inc. team. They're the ones who disassembled an original Johnny 5 movie robot and made this great CAD file that we're working from. That's it for now. Next time we'll be getting started on the drive wheels up front and the tension wheels in the back. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. It's gonna be massive.
Bagger 288. It contains an artificial mind. Johnny Five is here to safeguard all mankind. So let's go on over to the lathe and get started. To the lathe. I don't like saying to the lathe. To the lathe. We're gonna go to the lathe, Johnny. It's too fast. Slow it down. Slow it down. Using it to modify. <laughs> Words. <laughs> 